All right, Pixel 6a plus Android 13 beta is an absolute W. It's the banger. It's the whatever you want to call it, man, because I'm not really a beta person, but if you got the 6a and you want to change your whole dynamic of the Pixel lineup as of right now, you might want to check out the beta, all right? It doesn't cost you a thing. So I recently loaded the beta on the Pixel 6 Pro, and if you haven't seen that video, I'll be sure to pop it above and link it down below. Don't leave out of this video. Watch that video after this video, all right? But... Put it on my Pixel 6 Pro and I absolutely loved it. It was a game changer. It changed my whole experience about the Pixel 6 Pro to right now. It's probably one of my number one devices when it comes to Android in my rotation. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to keep the Pixel 6a stock. I'm going to leave it on Android 12 and wait till we get the official Android 13. Not going to fool with the beta because I got that on the Pro. But... I was itching. I was itching because I was like, you know what? If it's just as good as it is on the Pixel 6 Pro, it's got to be halfway as good when it comes to the Pixel 6a. So I loaded the beta up on the Pixel 6a, and let me tell you something. This did exactly like the Pixel 6 Pro, all right? It enhanced everything about this device, even the performance. Now, I haven't spoke much about the 6a. We know all the controversies of a certain creator talking about the 60 hertz. We don't got to talk about all that, but I will tell you this. On Android 12, the 60 hertz, you could tell a little bit more. But me putting on this 13 beta, this thing just, I don't know, for some odd reason, I know some people probably going to think I'm, I'm, I'm not telling the truth when I say this, but it just does not feel like 60 hertz anymore. Like, I wish it would have been a 90 hertz. Yes, you can tell it's 60 hertz, but this is a very, very smooth 60 hertz, man. Like, this thing is running with zero issues. Just everything is super smooth. Yo, the beta right now is changing the games when it comes to the Pixel 6, 6 Pro, 6A, whatever it is. And also, the first thing that you're able to tell that works flawlessly is that fingerprint scanner now we know they're optical of course we would like them to be the ultrasonic but we don't have that with the pixels all right we probably got to rock with the opticals but i'm gonna tell you what if this is the optical scanner that we that we can get when it comes and I, I just failed it right there see now it's trolling me on camera because you know i'm trying to do a video trying to give his praises and it's actually trolling me but nine times out of ten you put your finger right there it's gonna land it's gonna hit perfectly it has its blips but for the most part, I'm behind camera, so it's kind of, not behind it, but I kind of, I'm kind of under camera, so sometimes they can't act up. But the fingerprint scanner to me is has been perfectly fine. It's fast. When it registers, it's spot on. It has no lag. Everything seems to work fairly good. Now, when it comes to the battery life, I know a lot of people had some issues with the, not battery, but when it comes to heat, when it comes to the 6A. Since I've been on the beta, and no, the 6A is not my daily phone, but me just handling it, doing a lot of tasks throughout the day, I've been using my Pixel devices on Android 13 beta a lot, which means I've been tweeting, sending emails, responding to YouTube comments from you guys. I've been doing it on my 6A. And this thing has not heated up. I'm not a big component of talking about overheating. Every time a single phone comes out, I just use a phone regular. I don't go outside. I don't try to make it overheat. But I can tell with the Pixel 6a, this thing has been running flawless. And we haven't had any issues at all when it comes to the 6a. So I don't know what kind of secret sauce that Google is doing. I don't know what kind of secret type of code that they got going on with their OS. But... This has been an absolute dream to run on the Pixel 6a and on the 6 Pro. So if this is anything that we got to look forward to when the new Android 13 drops for the Pixel 6 series, for the 6 Pro and all of those devices, we are in for a treat because this thing right here just runs so smooth. It doesn't feel like 60 hertz and it's just it's got my attention right now. It really has me looking forward to the Pixel 7 series and the 7 Pro because I really feel like this is what Android 12 should have been. Android 12 was the experiment, especially when it comes to the tensor chip, but now we have the tensor, whatever it is going to be called on the Pixel 7, plus the optimization of Android 13. I really think we're in for a major, major treat this year when it comes time for the new Pixel lineup. So quick video right here. Hopefully some of you guys don't think this video is pointless, but if you have a 6A out there, and by the way, the Pixel 6a is going to be one of the best phones that you can get at this price point. I know some people like to compare it to the Pixel 6 being the best price point, but look, sometimes you may not have that extra to put toward the Pixel 6. 
go out there and get yourself a Pixel 6a. I haven't spoke much about the device, but this thing is the perfect size. Screen quality is perfectly fine, sitting at 1080. Like I said, the 60 hertz is absolutely perfectly fine. The Pixel cameras, you already know what you're gonna get out of Pixel cameras. With the back camera being the same as the Pixel 5, in my opinion, I didn't have a problem with the Pixel 5 when the Pixel 5 was the main thing that Google had going on. So sure, you may be able to pull a few better pictures out of the Pixel 6 Pro and different things like that, but trust me, for the everyday person who might wanna just grab this phone and be on a budget, you'll be handled just fine when it comes to the camera, especially with everything AI related that Google has on, you know, has going on. And of course, it's gonna feature all of those AI features that I absolutely love when it comes to all of the, the dictation, the call screening, Everything like that is what I really love about having a Google device in my pocket. So the 6A, matte size, perfect size. Google, I do want us to do something about this gloss back, all right? I hope for the next model we get rid of this gloss because I am just not a fan of gloss back because it just leaves a mess when it comes to your devices. But the Pixel 6A, we'll kind of talk about this more when I want to talk about the phone itself. But for me right now, this thing is solid, solid device. I always love having the A-Series in the lineup, being that budget, but yet doesn't give you budget performance, all right? A lot of phones at this price point, you'll be able to tell when you pick it up that you do have a mid-range chip or something like that. The only thing that you'll be able to tell with this phone compared to the other big boys, the 6 and the 6 Pro, is it's not running 120 hertz. It's not running 90 hertz. It's not running those higher refresh rates. Outside of that, the performance, everything screams flagship, all right? So if you're a little bit questionable about picking up, the 6a or downloading the android 13 beta look don't man just jump in download the beta we are on beta 4 at the moment i'm not sure when the next beta is going to be released but the beta series just changes the game when it comes to the pixel 6a and the 6 pro series